What's up, Survival? It's Jason here. Today, I'm going to show you why to put a toilet paper roll into your fire cake. Now, uh, if you haven't lit one of these things, whoo, man, you better have your tender right next to you. This thing, it, it's really great for windy days. Uh, I mean, like, I tried blowing this thing out. It, it, it didn't, it didn't do it. It's like, it, the fire just went right through it. And, uh, man, just that little thing right there, and it's really collapsible, as you can see. And, really great thing to put in your fire kits. So, uh, what you want to do, you can just put a match in there. You can put, uh, just light it with your lighter or anything like that. But to make it more fun, you can put, uh, you know what, I mean, put, get some juniper bark from over here. And you just get some juniper bark. It, this stuff takes a spark pretty good. You just fluff it up, and it gets really fine when you try it like this. And look how fine that is. And that's really good fire shutter right there. And then you do some more, a little bit heavier, not as fine, just to start burning it up. And you can start putting like a little sticks in there, leaves, whatever suits your goal of starting a fire. You just stuff it in there, leave a little bit hanging out so it's a bit easier to grab out and strike it. And I just have a stick nearby. I don't want that open. Gotta make sure that the tender makes it to the toilet paper roll. And what you can do, just try to push it in. Just start, get the toilet paper roll started. And you don't want it completely packed in there. You want some space in there. And as you can see, it's it was almost like a jet fuel type of thing. So it's kind of pulling in air from this side and coming out that side. That was, that's what it was doing. And as you see, all that wind is not disturbing the flame. It goes down a bit as it does that. But I'll blow it. it still goes and you kind of want to keep it like this so it could breathe from one side because this side is a little bit closed you could kind of say because it, it's kind of collapsing on itself so uh, having a good air hole coming out and as I can see the smoke coming out of it you can use it as a little smoke signal as well if you like and this gives you plenty of time it's plenty hot to uh, get at least one stick going, and as you can tell, and it's just a great thing to put in the fire kit and keep. And it's already starting to smoke up, and that's a good example of windy. And look at that! Can't get better than that. And you kind of want to put something on top of it, like the stick, so it doesn't fly away and all your tinder just goes all over the place. As you can see, it burns pretty well. And especially with the tinder inside, gives it that much more fuel to uh, uh, burn up, you know, as you can see. 
and it's been going for a long while. And uh, that's a great thing to put in the fire kit. So uh, if you just happen to uh, throw out your uh, toilet paper rolls, just put one or two inside your fire kit. And as you see, the stick is flaming. And that's a good part of it, right? And this is just a great thing to put in a fire kit. So I really recommend it. And plus it's so collapsible. So uh, much pieces of uh, space that you could save by just putting that in there. Instead of a whole bunch of cotton balls. And as you see, it's out now. But it's just... You could still use the embers to maybe put some more juniper bark on. I could definitely get that, still get this going with some more juniper bark. So, uh, as you can see, it burned pretty well. And uh, I hope you liked this. Leave a like if you did. And uh, see you in the next one.